Well, good morning and welcome back. I'm out here at COSI with Marcy and we've got some fun stuff set up. What are we going to do with all this? Well, I'm really excited because with Christmas coming up, we're going to make some Christmas cards today. Perfect. So I'm going to show you how to make Christmas cards with a little bit of science baked in. All right, so we each have our card, just a piece of paper folded in half. You should be able to do this at home with stuff you have around the house. I've got some shaving cream here. It's the foamy kind. That's important. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this surface, and this is just a cookie sheet. I'm going to spray this surface with shaving cream. So you can kind of see it rise up on there, and we just yes. want a nice flat surface. So if I can borrow this fork here, I'm going to smooth out that surface so we've got a good workspace. Now, Liz, I'm going to have you do the next part. Ooh, okay. So go ahead and grab some food dye. You can Excellent. choose whatever colors you want. We've got some Christmas colors today. And go ahead and drop it wherever you want. Oh, fun. We'll scatter out a few of these. And with Christmas around the corner, we'll do red and the green. We'll do both of them. Very good. Awesome. And this is a great one to get the kids involved. They really enjoy doing this sort of thing. Um, so we'll do this next part. We can even do it together. So we're just going to take a toothpick or something pokey. So you could use chopsticks, you could use a bamboo skewer, you could even use a fork. And we're going to oh. go ahead and marble this by swirling the chopsticks or the toothpicks or the fork around through our colors. Oh, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> so this is where the science kind of starts to come in. So what you may be noticing on the surface is that the, the dye is just sitting on the surface. It's not really sinking into the shaving cream. And oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's because shaving cream is mostly soap with gas bubbles in it. That's what makes it foamy. Oh. And, and soap is part, um, it's part hydrophobic and part hydrophilic. That means part of it is lo water loving and part is water hating. So oh. the food dye, that is water-based. And so it's only going to connect to the side of the soap that is water loving. So it sits on the surface. It doesn't sink in like it would in a glass of water. And that's probably good news for things like the pie pan that you're using too. That's not going to end up red and green. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. So now's the fun part. So go ahead and take your card. Pick your favorite spot on our marbled surface, mm -hmm. and you're just going to press the front of your card into that surface. Okay, doesn't matter how hard do I need to touch the bottom or just kind of get nope. it covered? Just gently press all over. You just want to make sure that every spot touches the shaving cream. Okay. Should be patted down. Yep. Okay, look good? Yeah. All right, go ahead and lift it up. Now's where it gets a little messy. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so I saved half of the cookie sheet here, and I'm going to take a shower squeegee, but if you don't have one of these, just use like a clipboard or a piece of cardboard that you have at home, and we're just going to wipe off that shaving cream. Wow. And then you have your beautiful marbled card. That's so fun, and this is such an easy <laughs> thing with Christmas being, what, a week away now that you yeah. can make the cards for the family. And you can use this over and over, so That's I can cool. put my card on the same surface. So if, if you've got a big family and everyone wants to participate, it's a great activity. You can use the same shaving cream over and over again. Oh, that's so fun. Lots of fun. And so easy with things that people have at home. Yeah, absolutely. And with the holidays coming up and with it being so cold out, when can people actually come to COSI and check out say even those new exhibits that are here. Yeah, I'm glad you asked because we actually are gonna have extended hours over the holidays. So the best way to check our hours is to check out COSI.org. Just go to our website and you'll see our hours. Excellent, and thank you again, Marcy, for showing us how to do these fun little experiments. And again, if you wanna figure out what time COSI is gonna be open, especially maybe with some of those extended holiday break hours, COSI.org is your place to go or to go over how to do this again so you can make some of these pretty cards, you can head over to our website, nbc4i.com. So thanks, Marcy. Thanks, Liz. And you've got your card there. Yeah, I have my prop <laughs> all ready to go. And I know, we're in crunch time for the holidays. Hanukkah starts tonight. We've I got haven't got Christmas my Christmas up card from you yet, Liz. So I, I know. Got, uh, <laughs> got a week to get it to me. I know, I've got a week more to do some of these. And also, I have nieces who are toddler age. It's a fun mm -hmm. kind of experiment that you can do with them too. So. If you need a last minute thing to do, it's going to be a good next couple of days to stay inside, do some of that baking, do some crafts together.